How is the average American coping right now when 61 of us are living paycheck to paycheck? I've moved up. Now I live direct deposit to direct deposit. I wish I was living paycheck to paycheck. I'm living paycheck to three days before paycheck. I'm a bankruptcy lawyer and business is definitely up. You see, I've been paycheck to paycheck most of my life. In what you call old poor. I know how to make it on the bare minimum less if needed. I feel for all these new poor that are in for a rude awakening. Things aren't getting better. I don't eat very much and try not to check my bank account. I'm just trying to keep my parents alive and wheel. There's no retirement for me. I'm their retirement. Holding out hope one of my friends finally makes that commune we all used to talk about lol. Just wait for student loans and child care expenses to hit at the end of the month while interest rates continue to climb. People are not going to be okay for much longer. Paycheck to paycheck is a term that gets used very loosely by a lot of people. Some people will claim that they're paycheck to paycheck because after paying their bills, contributing to their 401k and IRA, adding to their savings account, and paying for all other expenses. They've spent their entire paycheck. If that's the definition, then plenty of wealthy people are paycheck to paycheck. A better definition of paycheck to paycheck would be having negative or near zero net worth and making no progress toward increasing one's net worth. I feel like we need to define paycheck to paycheck. I know a medical device sales rep who makes $400,000 annually and says his paycheck to paycheck, he has a lot of luxuries and investments and doesn't factor that in. Paycheck to paycheck within what level of means? On one hand times are tough. On the other hand I go out to eat and the parking lot is full of shiniest trucks. You can't claim you're barely making ends meet while driving a Raptor. I just donated plasma for $125. Full tank of gas and my electric bill paid for September. Yippee party popper. This situation may feel unusual, but, historically, almost everyone I've known over the last 60-something years has lived paycheck to paycheck. In my life, it has been unusual for anyone to have savings or room on their credit card and it sucks. It sucks to live that way. That's a bullshit study. One three of people making $250,000 or more say they're living paycheck to paycheck. My mother survived and prospered out of a kind of squalor that makes my current poverty seem like living middle class. I have nowhere the near kind of climb she had. She was born in the back of a car, and endured a childhood of sleeping in parking lots and living in condemned buildings behind paint factories. If she can make it, so can I. Every single time I ask what does paycheck to paycheck actually mean, I usually get four or five different answers. So I'm going to say most are fine. It's really hilarious for me that you need to take credit to study in the USA. This country really doesn't want educated people. My budgeting game is getting better and better my shopping game as well. Buy in bulk wherever you can. If things you get regularly are 2 for 1 by 10. I've always been poor so bring it on. Terrible and heating bills are ahead of us. Lentils and rice. Well pots a lot more available these days, so they're that. Well, personally, I'm about to pull a 2007's Britney and begin my unhinged mental illness era. Living frugally waiting for the rest of y'all to come to the conclusion that this is bullshit and we deserve better. I don't want to adult anymore, it's not worth it anymore. I'm in credit card debt because I need to eat and me my cats have medical bills, and my power bill is over $200 because the summer heat is 110 constantly. I'm 20 by the way. I also work at a Fortune 100 company. I'm not coping I'm trying not to be homeless. I'm convinced a huge swath of the population is just riding the line of going postal and chasing down the overlords with pitchforks. By voting against their best interests out of tribalism. First time? Us old poor are used to this. Got a third job. Have no hobbies anymore. 
I sleep on average 4-5 hours a day split between two naps. Health spiraling downward. It sucks man, I'm just tired. Alcohol. I have no idea. I have zero chance of owning a home. I have 100 chance of paying more in rent next year. I want to say I'm hoping for a reset, but I'll probably be literally destitute if that happens and coming out the other side. As far off of owning a home. Lower interest rates would be great, but then the prices will go up and I'm still right here. The average living standard in America is still way better than most of the world population. I'm in a constant state of stress. Pirating, booze, and spice. Ara black flag hashtag skull and crossbones hash. I've decided to focus my time and energy on Starfield now, it's far less sad in there. And I'm rich and can travel all I like. Drugs, alcohol and depression. The good thing about a long-term lock-in is that you know what you have to pay. No surprise. I can guarantee, a lot are only living paycheck to paycheck, because they are too caught up in keeping up with the Joneses. Pretty much fighting for my life out here. I'm hoping something never, ever goes slightly wrong. Fucking bullshit. Last year I worked two full-time jobs and made great money. This year I'm only working one job and this shit sucks. Bills and rent take half of the monthly income. Short answer we're not. I'm in the same situation as I was before 61 of the US caught up with me so the same boat I suppose. Who seriously believes 61 are living paycheck to paycheck? That's ridiculous. Retirement account balances are at record highs, travel industry is booming, with hotel stocks, airline stocks, cruise stocks, all up substantially. Sporting events and concerts selling out with record high ticket prices. All of that can't happen at once if 60 of the population is living paycheck to paycheck.